Not all ice on the planet is the same. The ice in the North Pole is actually frozen ocean water, so-called sea ice, that if it melts will not elevate sea level. For sea level the important ice lies on Greenland and Antarctica. The Greenland ice sheet reaches more than 3,000 meters into the air, that's more than 10,000 feet. If all this ice melts or breaks off into icebergs and ends up in the ocean, we'll elevate sea level by more than 7 meters. The Antarctic ice sheet is even bigger. It holds ice of the equivalent of 45 meters in global sea level and it elevates up to 4,000, sometimes even 4,500 meters into the air. Under global warming, two things can happen. Ice can melt, obviously, this is happening in Greenland at the moment, and it can slide, and can slide even faster than at present, and reach the ocean where it breaks off into icebergs and elevates sea level. For ice sheets like the ones in Greenland and Antarctica to disintegrate, it takes hundreds, maybe thousands of years. No one knows exactly how quick this will go, and it, it will depend on the amount of global warming that we produce. During the last century, we've increased the global mean temperature by less than a degree. During the same period, global mean sea level has increased by 20 centimeters. If we keep increasing our CO2 emissions each year like we are doing it at the moment, we expect the temperature increase by 5 degrees by the end of the century. Even if we lose only a few percent of the ice that is available globally to elevate sea level, low-lying regions like Shanghai, Calcutta, Hamburg, London or Florida might get a problem. So we have enough ice on the planet to elevate sea level by more than 50 meters. The big question is how quick this will go. And this depends on the amount of greenhouse gases that we emit into the air.